I'm doing a new Ring Video Doorbell Pro installation. I've started it, so I've run the cable, which is two wire um, bell wire, as you can see. And I've put my raw plugs that came in the box, or as the Americans call them, anchors, to there and there. So this is the plate that I'll be putting up onto it. So I'll do that later. Um, I was going to go through the PVC, but I'm going to have to fill that out. <coughs> so I've gone through the brick instead. Through this side, through the other side. I'm going to put trunking up all along here. Fill this up. Come around to the other side. Come through there with a the wood, wood bit. Come down and then a rubber clips it all along up over the door in the long and and then I've taken it into the <coughs> this is the fuse cupboard. As you can see I've run my cable along still. And then I'll, I'm going to put the transformer here and I'm going to use the double socket that's here to so use that one. Now this is the fuse box here, As you can see, let me just come out, that's the fuse box and there were loads of spaces that I could have put this in. But I decided not to. Um, if you want to, it's entirely up to you. Um, but I'm going to fit it, as I say, here. So I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, that's all right. I'm going to do that, and I'll come back to you later, and I'll fit it, and I'll show you how to do the wiring um, because there are things that you need to add to it that Ring have stated that have to be added uh, I've been to a few jobs where uh, a particular fuse hasn't been installed and it needs to be installed because it recollects the voltage so I'm going to pause the video for now and I'll come back to it So here we have the ring doorbell uh, installed and we are at Fair Dinkum Lodge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the back room now and show, do the wiring in the back and then show you how it's done. So I'll pause the video now. Okay, um, I've now wired up to the back room. This is where the transformer is going to be situated. Now this is the bell wire from the door and it's wired through. I don't know if you can see it if it's focused. Through to here. One leg is connected to the last um, connector on the transformer. This will be 24 volts. Then this, the, this wire is then connected to this device here, which is the power, I think it's called power pack or something. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, this is connected to the, basically to the zero. So the zero is here, goes up to 24. This is 12 and this is eight. Now, this is the connection for your power. Now, I can't, sh I'm not sure if you can see, this is the brown and this is the blue. That's how I wire it up. So I always put the live brown here and the neutral here. And this is the actual length of cable. I'll just get the other end. 
and it's now wired up to a plug. Okay, just a three pin plug. If you can put a, a three amp fuse, five amp fuse, be better. And then I'll plug it into here when I'm ready. So if you can see that. Now, I spoke to Ring. This has to be installed on all installations. It's a power regulator. Uh, I had one on Saturday. Um, one installation I'd done three weeks ago. It stopped working. So I did a continuity test from the door to the bell wire here. Fine. Disconnecting this completely and just did it and went across these two wires here. They were fine. So then I did a test across here on the power, here and here. Um, I used a Fluke T90 tester and then I tested across here and here. Got power on there. Uh, 20 volts on uh, AC on here. So I ended up testing this. There's a fusing here, a one amp fuse. So it had blown. So went into the electrical store and got a, a one amp fuse and popped it in while I started working again. This is the enclosure that I use for, for this transformer. Um, I do not install into um, the consumer unit. I can do. Um, I've done a domestic installers course, and so I can wire into it, but I prefer to wire near to the door if possible. If there's a socket near the door, I wire it near to the door and um, put it into the enclosure. It does exactly the same thing. You can buy from Ring a, for the Pro, the actual adapter, which is just has two wires at the end. So you can run that to the door if it's not too far. Uh, so you just plug it in, um, well, you know, run it to the door, connect it to the Ring doorbell at the front, and then plug it in, and away you go. Um, but the problem with that is it's £30, whereas the transformer comes in the box. So if you're doing these uh, you know, as a job and installation, then it doesn't work out cost-wise worth getting. Uh, it, it probably, it, it, from the point of view of speed, it probably is, because um, then it means it might, it's going to be slightly quicker to install. But, um, you know, these you can get from Screwfix for £8, £9. These enclosures you get from a company called TLC in London. They are about three ninety nine. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the enclosure on so you can see what it looks like when it's, it's fitted. Okay, so here we have the cover put on on top now. And as you can see, that's the brand cat number ESE2. You can get these uh, enclosures from TLC in London, electrical wholesalers. And as you can see, the cable, the flex, which is here, comes from there. And then I've just left a little bit of slack on it. So um, that's the installation for the Ring Doorbell Pro. It is imperative that you install the um, power, I think they call it power pack, um, to the one leg going back to the doorbell, which I showed uh, earlier and connect it to the zero on the transformer. Uh, if you don't, at some point, you will have power issues. Um, I'm 
probably that's the reason why some people have been getting power issues because they've not been installing them. They have to be installed. Um, the, it will work, but there will be a problem over time. Um, with you know, it, I mean, and also it's there to protect it from you know, if there's a somehow a high voltage or ampage, then the fuse will go. So there you go. It's um, so that's my. I've just got to put some little bit of chunking up and then I'm finished and done. So I hope this has helped somebody who is uh, installing the Ring Pro in the UK. This is not US, this is the UK installation. And um, yeah, well, thanks for, for watching the video.